Good morning, modern steaders. Yeah, I got a winter hat on. <laughs> it's 38 degrees out this morning. Mother Nature can't make up her mind whether she wants summer to come or if we're gonna go back into winter. Good morning, crazy white chicken. Good morning, pork and chops. The chicken scare you? <clears throat> Morning, Figaro. You pretending like you don't see us? The apple trees are in full bloom this morning. Good morning. You guys take the uh, bucket out, I mean, jumping on it overnight, huh? You girls been pottying all night long or what? There you go. Good morning, Willow. Good morning, goats. You eating some of mom's alfalfa there? I'm calling you little man, but you ain't little. You're not too little anymore, are you? No, you're not. You liking them scratches, huh? Yeah, I feel good. Magnolia wants some breakfast now too. I need to build the forms today for the concrete slab for the barn. That's gonna be the project on the list today. We went out for a little bit last night when we came back. It was time to lock up the goats. I started walking down here, I'm like, hey, I see four goats out in the big pen. Then I'm like, no, I think I see five. You coming out or is it too cold for you? Get a little bit of exercise. Good morning, Magnolia. Little P. It was almost dark out, so I'm like, my eyes deceiving me, what's going on? And then I'm like, nope, there's little pea running around. I'm like, what? I'm like, nope, there's Willow. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the goats opened the gate between the two stalls, or if I didn't latch it up tight enough earlier, or what, but little pea and Willow were out with the other girls, and then the other two, Magnolia and Little Man, were still on the back side of the gate, but the gate wasn't closed all the way, so I don't know if they came out at one point, and then went back to the other side, or what, but, Oh, little P was having a blast. She was out running around with the other goats and she didn't want to go back into the other side when I locked her and Willow up. Wipeout, Tanner, wipeout. You birds liking it out here in the fresh pasture? Morning feeding rush. I think the ducks are inside New York City again. Let's see. Yep. You ready to go in the house now? Come on. Did you see the beautiful apple tree? Yeah. Look at all those flowers. Huh. Ready for school? I guess 
guess so. You guess so. You're supposed to be all excited and say yes. <laughs> Need to get the forms up this morning for our concrete slab. It's supposed to rain later on this morning, so I'm hoping we have enough time to get the forms built and put up and hopefully get them all done. We'll find out. First, I need to go around and rake out all the gravel that's around the edges and just make sure it's nice and smooth. Keep an eye on Figaro. He is the foreman on the job today. That's all I'll say. Seems like no matter how hard you check over lumber at the store, when you get home you find new twists and curves and new cracks in it. For the price of lumber nowadays, I wish it was a lot better. All right, we got a mark, our 30 inch mark on this two by four, 30 inch. We gotta go 30 feet. We're going on the outside of that two by six. So I need to mark 30 feet, one inch and a half. So 30 feet, one and a half. I need my two by to go on that side. Uh, stand it up, mark it. Awesome.
There, like that. Like that. I like that. And I like that. Awesome. We set the grade on the gravel pad the other day, so I know my top of my form needs to be three inches higher than where it's sitting right now. So that's what I'm measuring for the stake. Gotta shim this up three inches to get our grade. Now I want to pull measurements from each corner of the forms and I need to be 34 feet. There's a formula, I forget the name of it, but it takes a little bit of math, but once you've got it, you figure it out and you know what your measurement from corner to corner is supposed to be. I'm supposed to be 34 feet even, diagonally across. Then this one, 34, awesome. So we got a square rectangle, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, we'll leave those set up. Let's pin that corner. All right, now that we know we're nice and square, we can lock the corners in place. That side's got to come down a smidge, which we can do that after we get these set. Take this out. It might drop just from taking out the boards. Gotta come down a smidge. I probably did it. A little more.
so close. Let's go get it. Wow. Let's see how it is over here. All right, let's check this front corner. Over here, we need to come up. Let's go here where it's a little high. Do that. Still needs to come up. There we go. That is right on the money. Close right there, we gotta come up. Oh half inch or so. See if we can do it with this two by four. Right there looks good. We got the forms in, leveled off, and squared off. Now it's raining. So it looks like tomorrow we'll be able to come back out here. I just want to level off the gravel a little bit better. And then we got to backfill in all along the sides of the forms. And we have some sand over here and some gravel to do that with. This rain is crazy. We've already gotten a quarter of inch of rain so far and it's still coming down hard. Is your umbrella keeping you dry? Yeah. Rain's still coming down good. It's supposed to end tonight, so tomorrow we'll be able to work some more on the forms for the barn. Ready? Have some hay where it's dry. You guys are all cuddled up, keeping warm. Oh, I don't blame you. You sick of the rain too? They're not afraid of the umbrella like they were last time. No. Hope's gonna eat it. Yeah, she is. She says, that looks delicious. Let me try it. As long as she doesn't come from my pants, I'll be fine. Good shake. All right, you ready to go get the dogs? We'll collect some eggs. Yeah. The goat from Arizona will come out in the rain. The other two goats hide in the barn. Yeah, and if they do, they go like this and they come out. Yeah. And then Hope just go like this. Keep walking in the rain. At least it cleans out the mud on the boots. Right, now you got clean boots? Kind of. Not really. <laughs> uh, you gonna herd the crazy white chicken, Tanner? She's out. Good job, Tanner. Moose, you're all wet. Oh, I think they're picking back up again. Oh, 
Thank you. Water's running. That's a good thing. We'll clean out their dish. I don't know if you can hear that rain or not, but it is coming down hard still. I'm gonna do some roasted Brussels sprouts tonight with our chicken that's cooking in the crock pot. I'm hoping that the rain stops overnight and then tomorrow morning I can get up and go out and finish working on the forms for the concrete slab and have to keep an eye on the weather and hopefully within a day or two, weather permitting, we can get some concrete here and get that slab poured and then hopefully the next step will be building the post and beam barn. Feels like we've been waiting a long time to start this construction on the barn, but we'll get there, guys. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.